Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to FTB's Guys, where today we are going to expand our storage to more than just these three chests. I know I'm not talking about just adding a fourth one. We're going to set up a proper storage system, but also for our auto sifters right here. We're going to get into quite a few new mods. So without any further ado, let's get right to it. Oh, and I got a stick. Who is not Groot, apparently. Um... Yay. Anyway, before we get started with that, you guys gave me plenty of suggestions in the comments in the last episodes. And one of those is that I can actually pick this guy up, which means we have the Easy Villagers mod installed, which I am very, very happy about because that is very cool. If we look it up, Easy Villagers, you can do all sorts of cool things, which we definitely need to get into uh, probably very soon. But another tip was that, uh, yeah, we have simplified this setup for our sifters right here quite a bit now. This has saved us quite a few hammers, and yes, he's still noisy in the inventory. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, we no longer have the export pedestals because apparently you don't need those. And also, you can generate sand using chiseled sandstone. So that is very, very cool indeed. But yeah, as you can see, our sifters right here, only these two are running. This one is not, and that is because the inventory is full. So we need to fix that uh, today. But first, it looks like it is bedtime. All right, so storage. Uh, we're going to be setting up two different storage systems. One for this right here, for and for this we are going to be using uh, oak drawers or the drawers mod, the functional storage mod using the storage controller. We're going to use that for the sifters. Then we're going to use integrated dynamics for our own like storage for all these random like small things. We're going to have a setup, I think, over here is going to be a nice place to put it, or maybe here, centered. And I was originally thinking of setting up the drawers first, but I think getting rid of this chest cluster is probably going to be the nicest. So to do that, we need to get into integrated dynamics. However, in order to do that, we need to get into Botania, because all, it all starts for, with integrated dynamics from this mineral sapling. So we need to get this, which means we need to set up some stuff in Botania. And if we go into the quest lines here and go down into the mana manifest, we could basically follow this. Um, but I have pretty much, I, I think I remember most of what I need to do here. So I already have two stacks of bone meal. I'm gonna convert that into white dye and then we're gonna do like this. And then now we have 16 uh, floral fertilizer, which is awesome. I'm also going to make quite, a, not quite a bit more, but a little bit more. So we have 22 and we can just right click this on this dirt here and we're going to be generating botania flowers. And I'm just gonna click this a bunch to generate a bunch of flowers here because we're going to be using them probably in the future anyway. So I can go ahead and just chop these up, use vein miner to get rid of these. And we are needing some specific ones. We need these mystical white ones and we need brown, red, and we also need this right here. And I think we're going to need this for black dye as well. But I think these should be it. If we convert these into petals now, that's 10. And that is 12, and this is then 10, and these are 10 as well. Yep, that means we can pretty much get rid of the remaining ones right here, including the bone meal. Again, we might need some black dye, and this is why we are doing this, to get rid of that horrible uh, chest problem. I'm also going to grab some cobblestone, because now what we're going to be making... Actually, I really should tag this. We're going to make the petal apothecary. And this is where we're going to be making the flowers that is going to do work for us. So if we go ahead and place it over here, the next thing that we need to make now is the pure daisy, because this is the way to get living rock and living wood, which is what the mana pool and the mana spreader is made of, which are some of the basic uh, ingredients. We don't really need any of this right now. However, I, that does remind me I do need to pick up some seeds, which I should have. Yep, 21 flax seeds right in here. So we need to make some pure daisies, in fact, just need to make one. So we put water in here and then we just drop in four of these mystical white petals from the white flowers, then drop in the seed and boom, we have a pure daisy. And I'm pretty sure from that we are going to get a floating pure daisy, which is basically the same as well as some wood and some stone. So we can set this up right away. I'm just going to place this here and here. This, basically, it can be placed anywhere. 
I'm pretty sure, like even on our furnaces, if we wanted to, which is cool. So we can have it like around, uh, we can place this around stone, whereas this it actually has to be on dirt. So that is the difference right there. But so we're just gonna place some logs around like this. Eight, and then eight stone as well, and we can see the particles. That means it is working its magic, quite literally. Um, in the meantime, we're going to be making this. The mana generating flowers. So we have a bunch of flowers that could generate us mana throughout different means. We're going to be making this the endo flame, which requires two brown petals, so one red petal and one light gray petal. And so I'm gonna make, I'm not sure how many we can actually make, but I'm gonna make as many as we can make, I think. So if I get rid of this, I put these down and my water bucket as well and the seeds. We we'll just put it in a nice order right here. So if we do this, two brown, one light gray, one red, one seed, boom. Water, uh, two brown, one light gray, one red, seed, boom. So now we have two. And I think I can do this operation three more times if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And catching, that is five end of flames in total. That is going to be plenty. We're just gonna, actually, we're not gonna place these yet, otherwise we will just have to pick them up again. Uh, so now we have a living rock and living wood, which is awesome. I am, however, going to place down these logs as well, because I'm going to be needing more than just these eight living wood logs, and you'll see why in just a moment. I'm also going to, yeah, I've been smelting some stuff in the background of camera, because we're going to be needing it. Uh, later, I'm pretty sure I do have some iron in here. Nope, I need gold. I'm also speaking of gold. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take this and the copper actually. And I'm gonna smelt that as well. I think I'll be needing I'll I'll be needing a bunch of this, and you'll see why later. So we have the little flame. We can go ahead and make the mana pool very easy, just like so. We can also go ahead and get rid of these unwanted petals and the seeds. There we go. And then we can go ahead and make the mana spreader as well, except that I do need one petal of some sort. So this mana spreader, and this is why I need the living wood, because I need to make. It's such a cool effect that it has when it, when it breaks or when it transforms. Uh, I need to go ahead and make twigs, three to be specific, and then I think two different petals. I think this is the recipe. Yep, to make the Wand of the Forest. This is basically the wrench for Botania. So that is cool. Put this away. And this is basically all that we need to do. Except that I will need a little bit of coal. I think 10 is going to be just fine. So, I'm also going to steal this actually. Just because it's going to make things look a little bit nicer. Give the Mana Spreader a little bit of a uh, pillar to stand on. Now... This is just going to be our starting corner when it comes to Batania, so I'm going to place the matter spreader here. It doesn't have to be up here, it just looks a little bit nicer. Uh, place these like that, any, any order. If we hold the Wand of the Forest, we can see that they are tied to the mana spreader. We can go ahead and place the mana pool like so, and then hold down Shift, and then hold down Shift. And that is going to make it so it, this collects all the mana from these flowers and puts it into the mana pool. Now we just drop the coal, these flowers will pick it up eventually, just like that. And we are putting mana into the mana pool, just like that. Now, I just need to get a sapling, a normal oak sapling. Put it in here, as you can see, the recipe is right there. And boom, we have our mineral sapling. And that is the first step done, because now we need to make a bunch of other things, but first, we need to play, uh, put this down. I need to find some spare bone meal, if we have any. I was about to call it bone powder. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess that's what it is as well, but yeah. So now we're gonna grow this, and we have a couple of different things here. So we have the normal logs, but we also have this enriched, which gives us these crystallized mineral chunks, and this is what we really need. However, there's going to be a more efficient way than just uh, chopping down trees. And also, these berries are actually pretty decent food. So I am going to start eating those, I think, just because it's a very easy food source. I mean, just grow a couple of trees, get some logs out of it, and then you also get some food as well. However, it is very annoying when those enriched logs 
spawn at the top. But there we go. That should be that. Boom. I'm gonna do this, I think, two more times or so. I also get a couple of other berries, so that's cool. The next thing that we need to make, obviously, is all of this stuff right here. But like I said, we need to get a bunch of these crystallized mineral chunks. And for that, we're going to use the squeezer also by Integrated Dynamics. However, we're going to remove this basic fluid tank for now. And then we're going to be making uh, this thing right here. However, I do need to release, I'm pretty sure. We're going to be making the drying basin. And that is why we needed the black dye. I uh, do need two iron ingots. I'm going to take it from the stack. I'm going to take it from here. Drying basin, just like that. Put the iron back in. And so we place this right next to this. And then we put a log into this, just like that. And then we just stomp on it. And then eventually it'll give in and it'll become mineral resin. Which will then uh, dry up. And we will then have a crystallized mineral, just like that. And this can then be turned into the mineral chunks. But I'm actually going to need quite a few of those blocks. And then after that, what we can actually do is we can make a mechanical squeezer, also from Integrated Dynamics. Uh, for that, we will need energy battery, a diamond, and obsidian. We can get all of that. Uh, I really want to make this because then we can just set it off to do its own thing. We can also... Uh, make a generator from integrated dynamics because this actually does require power and this generator is actually going to be our first step moving into uh, power production if we go into where is it where is it there we go powering up uh, it's actually right here on the list we could use an alternator as well but that requires like mechanical crafter and yada yada so solid fuel it's also grayed out so solid fuel generators this is one of them. There's also these other options, which I haven't used before it's from Cyclic and Ad Astra. And then with this, we will easier be able to get into solar generators and wind generators from a uh, mechanism, which is going to be really, really cool. But for now, yeah, this is the way. And uh, <laughs> this is going to be my life for the next uh, couple of minutes. What we can do is we can upgrade this setup a little bit. If we go ahead and take this out. And then put a barrel and a wooden hopper in there, just like that. Then it will automatically take the crystallized uh, mineral and put it into that. We could also put a hopper into this, but for now, this is fine since I have to do it manually anyway. There we go. Reset that. Keep going. It has an internal buffer as well, so I can just keep going while this is full. Like there we go. And then, yep. Works perfectly. All right, we actually have six blocks of crystallized mineral, which means I'm going to upgrade the setup to the automatic squeezer as soon as I can. I'm just gonna need a little bit of a diamond. And I also came out over here for something else, which I don't remember what was. Yes, redstone. We have quite a bit of that, which is awesome. So we're gonna make that into redstone blocks. This should actually be totally fine, just like that. So, we need to make three of these energy batteries. So these can actually be used as normal batteries as well, just like in the world, which is pretty cool. Don't know if they have an inventory, do they? Oh, I won't figure it out by placing a log in it. Nope, that they do not have. But now we can actually go ahead and make the generator as soon as we have a normal furnace. And we're gonna make that, and then we can go ahead and make the mechanical squeezer, except that I need to pick up the squeezer. And then I need to also get some obsidian. So that requires a lava bucket and also water bucket, just like that. Dig this up and that will be done eventually. Done. Very, very cool. Ice bucket challenge completed indeed. But with that, I uh, don't need the drying basin. We can go ahead and make the mechanical squeezer. Beautiful. And I'm pretty sure I got a normal Minecraft hopper. Yes, I actually have two, so that means I can set this up properly. Because this wooden hopper, if something gets stuck in it, I can't actually like access it, which is uh, not not fun. So I'm gonna change the setup up a little bit. Now, the question is where to place this. Mm, yeah, that's a bit too far away. I think on having a wall of drawers right here for all the things that we can actually sift. So if I just take this back and then maybe put it over here by the end somewhere, I think. That, oh my god, that scared me. I thought I fell through the ground or something. 
Okay. But yes, I'm gonna dig this out. I can't use Vein Miner, unfortunately, because it digs down, and that's not what I want. And yeah, so, yeah, this is gonna take a little bit. Ah, look at this. A random chest with random items. Not what we like to see around here. Anyway, dug this out, so I'm just gonna place Automatic Squeezer here, and then we're gonna have... I think a Wooden Helper for now, for this, is fine. And a barrel for things that is to be squeezed. Then we can have the generator next to it. And this just needs any burnable item, so something like coal would work just fine. Oh, and this is done as well. Awesome. I don't have... There, there we go. <laughs> Running very low on storage. Uh, but yes, this can run. Then we can just set a barrel with the... Uh, yes, with a normal hover, because sometimes I want to access this. And then do that, and this is just gonna do its thing. We need to auto eject. Um, I'm pretty sure. Am I missing something? Yes, I am. Right now, I'm actually. Yeah, I'm just making the crystallized, crystallized mineral chunks, but I'm not using the mineral resin, so. Hold up. I did this wrong. I did this completely wrong, actually. I want to do a wooden hopper into this barrel. Then I want to have the drying basin uh, here, accepting this, and then I want a hopper from that <laughs> into this barrel. That is what I wanted to do, so I just need to get one more wooden hopper, if possible. Just one, thank you. And then point that into this barrel, so we can actually get those uh, extra pieces of crystallized byproduct thing. So yeah, now we're getting blocks of crystallized mineral, which is why we're using the, the logs. And then we're getting extra crystallized mineral chunks, which I will in fact take all of this, because we will be needing it now. Alright, so bear with me as we have a little bit of a messy inventory, but we are about to have a storage set up very, very soon. Because now all we need to do is make the storage terminal, item interface, and logic cable. Let's start from the logic cable, because this is the easiest. I will be needing the redstone. There we go, alright. Logic cable, I'm gonna make a couple. Uh, 12 should be plenty for our needs. So this is a cable that will connect inventories together. We're not gonna place it down just yet though. Even though I just did. Uh, we're gonna be using the item interface. So that requires some sort of chest. So we'll go ahead and do that. Bing. And then we're actually gonna be making another set so that we have eight in total. Just like that. So now what happens is we can place an item interface on that. Huh? Huh. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. But if we place this logic cable there, then we can add a terminal to this and then we can access this chest. And we can add another... I really don't, that might be a bug. Um, but we can connect them like this, and now if we had a terminal here, we could access both these chests. So, now we need to make the terminal. And to make said terminal, first off, we need to make these input variable transformer and output variable transformer. That's going to require a piston, which in turn is going to require a little bit more iron. So, two pistons to be specific. Uh, there we go, two pistons. And then I'm gonna need a slime ball for the input one. And that should be actually easy enough. Not that I need lava for it, I actually do need water. If we take the one uh, sifting sand, if we waterlog it, just right click it with a water uh, water, water bucket. Then just wait, because now it is going to generate salt, and boom. Slime ball. And we can actually see if we go into sifting, waterlogged, we can actually get a bunch of like water specific things. So that is cool. Uh, what did I just pick up? I don't know what I just picked up. It's fine. It's fine. I have the I have the slime ball now, and then we have the sticker piston. Then we just need to make these variable cards, which requires us to get a little bit of paper, which should be easy with the sugar cane as well. So just do that. Then one set of those: input variable transformer and output variable transformer. I played with it, uh, integrated dynamics in like all the mods, Sky Eight. On mods eight sky, I don't remember the name of it, but uh, I played with, I played with this mod in that pack, so I'm I kind of remember the things that <laughs> I kind of remember the setup. Um, so now we need to make the static light panel. This is the recipe for it, by the way. 
the display panel is requiring two static light panels. So we're going to go ahead and make two just like that. Then we'll make the display panel. And then we need mineral glass, which is going to be interesting. This right here. And then if we place this in here. No, that is why having a lever here is actually going to be ideal because that means that I can say to the hopper, stop. And then I can put the glass in there. And if we just wait long enough, mineral glass, and I can untick the lever and things will flow back in. I also need two, four pieces of glowstone, which I should have right there. And now we should have the storage terminal. And this doesn't need power either, by the way, the setup. So if I place this here and then switch to item storage, you can see that we can access every single thing in these two chests. And our storage ca uh, capacity is, of course, what is in the chest itself. So we can drag things out, we put things in, like all this stuff. Obviously, our uh, both those chests are full now, but if we wanted to, obviously, this is also full. So it's not going to add more, <laughs> more uh, capacity. Did I use the... I used the cables, didn't I? But we could also search. So, cable. Oh, look at that. That's by Logic Cables. I want to connect this chest. So, something that's only in here is the Fisherman. So, I can go ahead and type for Fisher. And boom, Fisherman shows up. So, that is going to be our storage uh, system. However, we're not going to have it just like this. So, I'm going to chop this up. Apparently, Veymire doesn't work for this. That's interesting. Uh, going to chop... Yep, this up right here be gone be gone and there we go right i don't know why i keep getting these but what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna make eight chests in total right uh easiest is to do it with logs like this eight chests but we are going to go into here and then in basic we will have iron chests, so we can upgrade our chests both with iron and gold. I can't really do diamond at the moment because I don't have enough diamonds, but eventually we can. Uh, we can do copper as well. Uh, looks like copper. I don't know whether or not copper or iron is best, actually. Uh, but we also got crystal, which is glass around diamond. So, yeah, that's way of, out of our league. But iron and gold can be used or can be done. So if I place this here... That's around with iron. That's eight iron chests. Then upgrade these to gold. And we have upgrades as well. So we can upgrade from gold to diamond without having to actually pick up the chest, which is pretty awesome. Uh, looks like it's bedtime. Ooh, what a unique flavor. You gain two hearts. So the more brand new e uh, food that you eat, you actually get two extra hearts. I think it's per five new foods that you eat. So that is very handy. Now I have four extra hearts. Right. We need to find out where we actually want the storage. And I kind of want it right here uh, in front of this cobblestone thing. And this is going to be removed eventually. Um, so I guess it makes sense. So let's place these here. I'm going to place them in this shape. Just like that. And actually, this stuff will have to go. Yeah, this stuff will have to go. Uh, do we have extra iron in here? I do. I'm going to take uh, some... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up the lava from this. So that I can actually remove this. <laughs> Cause it's in the way. I will relocate my lava generating platform later. We have dirt, I do have dirt to patch this up. Lovely. Right. Then all we need to do is add an item interface on the back of every one of these. And again, don't know why I'm getting those. That I'll have to hear if that's supposed to happen or not. All right, logic cable all the way around. By the way, I don't think I've said this, actually, but FTV Skies is public and open for everyone to play. So if you haven't played FTV Skies just yet, I highly recommend that you do so. But we can now place this right here. Link by the, to the mod pack, by the, by the way, down below in the description and to the FTV app. Let's place this here. Yeah, that has to go out a little bit, doesn't it? Let's place a cable there. And then place this there, and that means we should have access to all the chests. So I can just start dumping the stuff that I don't want in here. 
And if I, it seems like if I just hold out shift and drag, oh no, that does work, but this is show up here. I just put sugarcane in there, but it didn't. Oh, okay. So channel zero, okay, that's interesting. How do I, that's interesting. Hold on grid size. We can adjust the grid size. That's cool. JI search sync. So synchronize search bar for, with JI filter by sorted or craftable ingredients, storage, craftable storage i think then i hope that is going to make it so that things go in here and not into the item crafting i think that's how that's going to work now i just need to move all of this stuff into there so this is not going to be pretty so i'm going to cut this out and i will be oh yeah it does still add stuff in there that's weird i'll have to look into that but for now i'm just going to add that's also a bit weird. Adding stuff and then it goes back into the inventory. Even though I'm holding down shift. That's a bit odd. Maybe it's just do, being a bit laggy. If you guys know why it's do, it does that or if, it, if there's a fix to that, do let me know down below in the comments. Maybe there's like a limit to what the network cables uh, can actually handle and I'm just pushing it. That could be as well, but still. I do like this quite a bit. Like the storage i seem to remember having this issue before and then solving it somehow it seems like it is because if i hold down shift and then drag the mouse it doesn't go in but if i just click the item it looks like it goes in so i think it's if i'm holding down shift and it accidentally registers it as a drag like that and then it doesn't go in that could be what is messing it up but even with that i don't really care because this is our storage setup now, and I did it. This is so much better than what we had before. A brand new. Oh, I don't, I don't want to pick stuff up. We have a brand new storage setup right here. Okay, that's way too big. That's way too big. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I do kind of like it like that. A little bit. Oh. <clears throat> None of you saw that, so we're just gonna ignore that that ever happened still need to figure out why it does that but yeah this is pretty cool i just need to rearrange this stuff and then we will be pretty organized not gonna lie oh yeah one thing that you can do with the gravity table by the way that i was told as well oh another stick i'm sticking with you you're sticking with me in my storage <laughs> you can turn the crafting table into the crafting station just a whole lot better like it can it can keep items inside of it and stuff it can also connect to like chests outside or inventory sorry outside so that's cool uh don't know where i'm gonna put it though that's fine because i have i have actually well i do have crafty there but having a crafty station is probably going to be kind of nice having it close by right in front maybe yeah right in front and i think i'm just gonna get rid of this <laughs> we don't need this set up for um for bone meal anymore because we have we have the dust over there which does the job just fine right ladies and gentlemen i think that this is a pretty decent upgraded base because uh, what we had before was starter this is going to carry us into the future i'm very excited about this in fact i'm going to be eating this marshmallow golden marshmallow i should say as soon as i can as celebration but we do need to sort this inventory mess right here but hopefully that shouldn't take too long to do First things first, we need to make the storage control line. This is where our first hiccup appears because we need to make a comparator. And for that, we need nether quartz. To get nether quartz, best way of getting it is going to be sifting soul sand through, well, currently we have andesite mesh. Then we can get an 80% chance of getting nether quartz and also 10% chance of nether wart. So that's cool. However, in order to get soul sand, uh, there's a, there, there's, we, we could use soul soil, which is awesome if we had any, but we don't. Uh, so I have been looking at this for a very long time, and we need to get into this mod, the Occultism. I'm probably butchering that. Never played with this mod before, but it looks kind of cool. At least this bit. We need... Well, first of all, I need to see if I have any deem... I do not. Right, I'm going to be needing a bunch of dirt. Then I'm going to be needing bone meal. 24, hopefully it's going to do the trick. Yeah, it definitely will do the trick. 
Um, and then, uh, do I have? I know what it looks like. I know what I need. I just don't know what it's called. It's a specific item that you can use. It's a seed type. That is pasture seeds. That's what I need. Also from Botania. But what we can then do is if we dig up a little bit and remove this so that grass doesn't go up here. Because what we need is tall grass in order to get these uh, demons dream seeds. But if I right click this uh, dry grass from Botania or this vivid grass, nothing actually happens. So we need normal grass. So we can use this pasture seed, just right click it and we get normal Minecraft gla uh, grass block. Instead of grass, I want to say glass. I guess it's just easier to pronounce for me. <laughs> but yeah, breaking the tall grass. Uh, I, I almost did it again. Your chests have multiplied. New chest that. Where's that? Minus 12. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you? Mimic. I mean, ow. Okay, you do quite a bit of damage. Okay. Uh, didn't expect this. Chest layer. Power glove. Increases damage dealt by the wearer. Huh. Plus four attack damage. So I guess that is a curious uh, item thing. Bubble thingy, whatever this is. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I'll take that. <laughs> that was a nice little surprise. Oh, it even it even renders in. Look at that. I love that. That is so cool. That is really cool. Anyway, let's get back to doing this. Uh, because we need tall grass. I, I said grass this time, but it was a bit of a it was a bit of a mix between uh glass and grass. But anyway, we got one demon's uh, dream seed and I should probably explain the reason that there we go that was loud oh you want the you want the flower there you go <laughs> the reason why we want this is so that we can go ahead and get this demon's dream fruit and the reason why we want that is because if we drop this and then light it on fire we get spirit fire apparently yes I know it is very interesting and I, I'm not sure how it makes sense but it's just it's just how it is so I'm gonna go ahead and make uh, reason why I'm grabbing the gravel is because I need to get some flint but there's an easy way of doing this after I've actually made a shovel let me just go ahead and do that so if you just put the gravel in your offhand and then hold down right click hold down your shovel on the cutting board apparently yep there we go <laughs> Eventually, we get flint. A much easier way than uh, normal Minecraft, vanilla Minecraft, getting, um, what's it called? Getting flint. Having to place it, break it, place it, break it. Also, uh, okay, so that is that. Auto refill. Ooh, automatically refill the crafting grid. Don't want that. Don't want that. Disabled. Good. And then grid size, I could actually change that to be to be like that. Then it's more of a... Can I move this around? It would be lovely if I could move this window somewhere else. Oh well, that's fine. Now, uh, I still need bone meal, if I have any. Bone meal. Boom. Also need a hoe. I think I have one. This. Uh, Fluix hoe. From Applied Logistics 2. Interesting. So let's place this down. And then... I click that. Yep, we got Demon Fruit. And also more seeds, so that means we can... We can get rid of this now. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I guess I'm gonna place this over here by the magic stuff. Because it's gonna look weird and... Yep, let's just... There we go. We got Spirit Fire. And then apparently all that we need to do... Is to... Um, that's just, that shouldn't... That, that, okay. Anyway. Now what we need to do is grab a little bit of sand. One to be specific. And then just throw this in here. And boom! We got soul sand! We just needed to do that once actually. Because now what we need to do is go ahead and turn it into soul soil. Because we need to sift this. So we need to set up a sifter over here. So I need to set up a wooden hopper and also a chest over here for that. Um, or a barrel or something. We will be removing the setup anyway. Not the sifting setup, but the store temporary storage uh, setup very, very soon because we almost have everything that we need now. But 
for temporary reasons, we're going to do it this way. So do this, and then I'm going to be needing to set up this right here. I'm going to need a, pedis a few pedestals and some upgrades. Now, in order to set up the pedestals to generate soul sand, we are actually going to be needing soul soil to have underneath the pedestal. And for that, we could go ahead and turn into create and then do... Uh, it should be in here. Yep. We could... Nope, that's not it. Hold on. What am I missing? I'm missing something. Here we go. We could do bulk haunting. And the reason why this makes sense is because we have a soul soul down there. Light it on fire. Get this blue flame. Then toss any dirt in there. And then that will be turned into soul soil. However, what you can also do... I have been told <laughs> a little bit of a trick. If we go ahead and do this with our soul sand, go ahead and place it, looks awesome, and then break it, and we get soul soil. <laughs> so we could go ahead and place this, and then place that material generator. And now I don't have any more of these that I can actually make it because they require plastic. So the easiest way to just output this into here is for now just to do this. And then link them up. Do this and this. And then of course I need a mesh. I need a mesh, I need a mesh, I need a mesh. That is string mesh. Okay, I will actually uh, synchronize these mesh. And decide, ooh, need and decide, ooh, need, oh. Well, I should be able to handle the and decide part because we have a bunch of chunks in here that we can just go ahead and, wait, does it bat? There must be a cave underneath us. Huh. Well, mesh, and then get the andesite alloy. Let's make as many as but one. You know what? That's fine. That's all I need at this point in time. All right. Place this in. Uh, there we go. And boom. We're sifting uh, uh, soul sand, and we are getting a nether quartz. I just need nine in order to finish this setup, however. So that is what I'll be waiting for. Standing here with a bit of a choice. So I want a wall, like I said, with drawers and I have a few options. I can use the full ones. Every single drawer here is capable. Let me put them like this actually. Every one of these is able, capable of storing 248 items. However, this is able to store two different items, but then that capacity is split. So uh, 1,024 per item. This one can hold four items. However, that is 412 per item, which means it's going to get filled up pretty pretty, uh, pretty quickly. However, with this, we could keep the wall pretty minimal. However, I think I'm going to choose to do the big ones just because we are going to be generating quite a lot of stuff. So, and I don't really want to run out of space too fast. How many of these we can actually go ahead and make? <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a couple of chests here, and yeah, I'm gonna need to get some saplings. Hopefully, yes, I do have some saplings. Yeah, I'm gonna grow some trees, gather some wood, make chests, make the old drawers, and then we will be setting up the final storage for the sifting processing. All right, the trees has been chopped down. Hopefully, I will have enough wood to do what we need to do now. Just gonna convert all of that into logs. I'm gonna. Put it all into our system. Don't do that. Put this in there very slowly. There we go. Right. Let's go ahead. Get the drawers uh, recipe right there. Oh. Hold on. It should register my shift click. Okay. It does not. That is fine then. Let's go ahead and do uh, chest first. Place... Uh, 21. I'm gonna place 21 in here because we already have three. I'm gonna try with 24 drawers to begin with. And then all of this. More. More. <laughs> there we go. That should do it. Make all of those. So that is 24 oak drawers to begin with. And I will actually need one more oak drawer, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe, actually, if I remember correctly, I need two. I just don't have enough wood. Is this a recipe? That's a recipe. I'm so happy that's in here. I'm so happy that's in here. That's awesome. Yes, I will need uh, two oak drawers for the controller. Anyway, yep, that'll be plenty of quartz for now. 
let's go ahead and do this. So I need two quartz blocks. And then I'm also going to be needing some redstone. I might just keep it to item storage, you know, and then use the normal crafting table underneath. I think that might be easier. But yeah, let's get the redstone. We will be needing some redstone torches. All right, so redstone comparator. Do this and then redstone, redstone storage controller and boom. That should be that. I am going to be needing a bunch of hoppers for this to work the way I want it to. Oh yeah, we also need some, we need a configuration tool and we also need a linking tool. Uh, not sure what we need for that. We need an emerald and then we need a diamond. Got it. We do have a diamond in here and we should have a couple of emeralds in here, just like that. Add those to the system, get this made and then get the configuration tool made as well. Ah, now I have two, 22 oak doors. That's fine. So, the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to have hoppers underneath these all the way, going all the way over to the storage controller. I don't really have, like, pipes or anything uh, that I can then go into the storage controller like that. Unless I use these guys right here. Yeah, you know what? That might actually work just fine. Yeah, I might do that actually. They're not gonna be super fast, but they will be pipes, so that's at least something. So let's go ahead and make two of those, then go ahead and make this. So that's 16. I also do need the wrench. Uh, so for that, I need to get some more gravel and do that trick again. There we go, pipe wrench. Hopefully this is going to work then. Uh, I'm gonna need to do this from back here. So I'm going to have to dig this out and then remove all these. Yep, just like that. Then add item pipes. Ooh, then it's going to connect to the chest. Uh, but that's fine. That's actually fine. Uh, yeah, because the chest will be removed eventually. So let's leave that all the way here. I mean, ideally, it would be nice if it wasn't connected. I will actually be able to use it being connected later so to get all the items to that's already there into the into the spots basically to activate this i will need to put each of these to output but first i'm gonna place down the drawers i'm gonna dig this out i think they're connected because they're connected to the storage controller directly maybe it would be nice having the storage controller on top you know what since we're using pipes I might as well do that just to make it look that much nicer. There we go. Then we can have a couple of drawers on top of it. <laughs> there we go. So hold down shift and place all these. Um, yeah, I'm going to need a big wall of this. Like I'm going to need a couple more drawers, to be honest. Uh, this is not going to be enough. Nowhere near enough. <laughs> Maybe I should have done the double ones. And then just giving them upgrades. Uh, can I repurpose? No, I cannot. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a compacting drawer. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Right, I need a lot more. I need a lot more wood, apparently. Lovely. All right, I am going to try this setup for now. I could always expand it. Um, I was running out of bone meal and it, the system is not set up and yeah, I was running out of wood. So this is going to do it for now. It's going to have to. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm pretty sure it is all connected. If I right click this in here, oh, it doesn't go in. It doesn't go in. But if I link this, we'll just link it all just to make sure that it is in fact connected because now no, okay, it might, it, I think it works, but that's fine. I'm going to lock, I think I'm going to lock because um, if I just set this, for example, to output right now, would it just scatter it all randomly or would it actually, hmm, would it actually do its thing? I actually, uh, how do you un unlink? There we go. I mainly want the ores and whatnot to go into these. So let's see what happens. Let, let's just see what happens. That is set to output. 
Um, transferring four items every 20 ticks. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Getting upgrades would actually be ideal. Question is, how expensive are they? Uh, that's actually not expensive. This is expensive, but improved uh, pipe upgrade. That wouldn't be too bad getting these. Because that will just mean that thing. Well, we don't really need it to go that super fast. It's just now where it's emptying, but it's. It's not. Oh. Well, I'm gonna remove this. <laughs> so we actually get stuff in there. All this stuff will go in there eventually, don't worry. I just need to make sure that we don't get duplicates. Other than that, I probably won't care too much about the placement of things. Otherwise, I can always change it later. Don't think we have any duplicates. So what I can actually do now is I can reconnect this. And then I can tell this to output as well. And this stuff is going to eventually go in there. I'm going to try and make a gold upgrade. I'm going to make a uh, gold upgrade here because emptying some of these things are going to be nice. Do I not have any iron smelted? Ugh. I must have, right? Nope. Apparently not. Okay. Time to smelt some more iron because I, I don't have any coal in here either. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. That's... <laughs> That's not good. All right, basic pipe upgrade and then improved pipe up upgrade. I think that's just gonna make things go a little bit faster. To put this in, transferring 16 items every 10 ticks. There we go. That's gonna be a lot faster. Um, so ideally, the emeralds are going to get a brand new place very soon. Then we can add the uh, soul soil. Actually, this first, and then the soul soil, and then. We can add the green stuff. Yep, that's emptying very nicely. Perfect. Then we can connect. I'm going to connect this first. And there we go. That one does have quite a few items. So you know what? I will go and do that. Just to empty it a little bit faster. That should then fill out on the remaining slots here. These shouldn't... Well, they might be connected. They might be connected, but... Well, I think I've specified specified this to say only fill these. So even though these, oh, these are connected, they're not going to be actually registered by the storage controller. Okay, and this is done. So that means I can go ahead and connect you. Uh, and set it to output. And I should be able to go in there, steal this, go into here, and put that in. That's going to empty this very quickly as well. And now... I didn't get my upgrade back. Did I get my upgrade back? Hello? Upgrade? <laughs> you there? Upgrade? Did I lose my upgrade? Did I lose my... I think I lost my upgrade then. I don't, I don't have it anywhere. That's weird. That's very, very weird. Okay, well, I'm gonna connect this now to the sifter right there. Um, but yeah, that, that was very, very strange. But yeah, I want the, the soul sand in there because then that means we can get the nether quartz. Didn't mean to empty it manually, but the stuff in here. Now I think I'm ready to unlock these and then tell this, get going. I'm gonna just do the chest for now. Set it to output. Can't really give it up. I don't I don't know where my upgrade is. Oh there it is. Okay. I thought it would be weird if it was just all of a sudden gone out of nowhere. There we go. All that is being transferred. Let's hope it all gets a home. I might need to add some more spaces up there as well. Or over there by the by the side of it. Yep, and the side is not getting a space. But which is pretty bad because uh, andesite is very very important more important than some of these and specifically because we are going to be using the alloy so i'm gonna take that's not what i wanted to do <laughs> we're gonna take this i'm gonna put the andesite up here and i'm gonna include it in the link so that should be just like that and then uh yep that should be good we can then connect this which one did I just do? This one. 
can remove this. Give me my upgrade this time. And that should be... Outputting? Output. There we go. Now it is. And we can set this to output. And that means we can actually close this up. Because we're done. Everything now has a home. That's a pretty good feeling. Now, there's still the matter of this. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And I'm also going to lock every single one of these now. Because in case I want to grab an entire stack of something or empty it completely, I don't want it to be a, a dark spot or a blank spot like that one. But then uh, it's going to get something else in it and yeah, it's going to mess things up. So I'm just going to do this and then boom. So that's going to take everything out of here that actually has a home here. Did I just see something fly? I feel like I saw something light fly. Hmm. Apparently I did not. It really did look like it though. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be emptied. Everything that doesn't have a spot in there is going to be left over. But then that's that. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a pretty good upgrade for uh, the base. And it's going to stay here with us probably for quite a while. I can go ahead and break this. Not going to use vein miner on this because I don't want it to break that as well. Let's just put everything in here for now. And then... Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to be it for this episode. I think we're pretty set now to continue onwards in the next... We, we did get started with power a little bit today as well. We made the generator. But speaking of which, in the next episode, we're going to look more into generating power. Get a steady supply of power going. I do need to process these sources as well as they come. Because if I need iron right now... Well, I only have it in raw form. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, as the sun is setting, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. I do apologize that it has been a little bit of a long one, but I'm really, really pleased that we managed to get both of these storage systems in place. Plus, we also started generating our very first RF today with the generator from Integrated Dynamics, which, by the way, in the next episode, we're going to be upgrading our power generation and also storing system and potentially taking a look at flight because I really do want to explore that village up there. And I also potentially want to take a look at the nether. I can't speak apparently. Exciting things ahead and I hope you are ready. But for now, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Like I said, if you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And until next time, have a wonderful day and goodbye. I'm back. I nearly forgot. I promised to eat this golden marshmallow, which I have not eaten yet, and I'm about to eat it, because I think we deserve a treat. Nom 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 nom. <laughs>